Okay, it's Eric Deloach, your residential book author and um, from the US. And we're on the great show, American Authors and Others. And Others stands for in other countries and other talent sets. We really like to represent the arts. We're fascinated with the arts and creativity and, and the energy. And, I'll, uh, and before I introduce you, I, I have to say, uh, uh, Anthony Quinn was a actor in the 50s and 60s. And he went to the UK to study acting. And they told him, I tell the story a lot. They told him that the actor, or you can say, you can, you know, the musician, you know, whatever person of the art, their job, the, the guy told him in training, is to inspire the brick layer, layer to, to do a better job, inspire the, the lawyer to be the best that he can be, inspire society. So the people of the arts play a, in their mindset, a huge role in motivating society to be the best that it, it can. Think in the United States, it, be, it becomes celebrity, but it's, it's, it's really more than that. And we know that music is, is um, therapeutic and we know it's healing. But with no further ado, let's get to the, to, 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 to the show here. And we have a, a great, um, fascinating and amazing guest for you. And we'll allow her to introduce herself all the way from the great country of Canada. Such a, you know, and I see pictures, such a beautiful place. Thank you, you go so ahead. Much, Eric. Thank you so much. Um, well, we just got our first snowfall last night, so uh, we're getting cozed in here to do music, you know. But uh, thank you for that. And uh, I agree with you that music is huge. And I think it's more than just to inspire and feel good, but I think it's, it does a lot for your soul. And uh, it's, it's something that's timeless and, and it, it, it will transcend time. And we're going to hear out there in the atmosphere. For days and days to come. So yeah, I think music's a great, great gift, and I think it's a real honor to be able to write songs. Well, listen, we have to, we have to know who you are. So tell us who is the fascinating person that I'm talking to um, about you as the artist. We want to know. We're very curious. Thank you very much, Eric. Well, I'm Rachel from the Rachel Walker Trio. Um, I have uh, lots of songs out there. I have a website at uh, www.rachelwalkertrio.com. You can go check out all the songs. Lots of new singles. Uh, I had a band for about seven years. We, we had a blast and wrote uh, our first two albums, uh, Best of Zest 1 and 2. I did, uh, before that, I had made a couple previous albums. Um, Zorro Babel, which seems to, uh, I wrote that years ago, uh, 10, 15 years ago, and uh, that seems to be really like perfect for today. So there's Zorro Babel, that's a great album. I have uh, some really talented friends of mine. We would get up at three in the morning and then go down to the studio when no one was there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we'd work on this music. And so we had a whole lot of fun with that. But yeah, I'm working now with um, all kinds of amazing artists. I'm so honored. I just love being able to do music and give it to you. Hopefully make your day better and help you. Um, I've been lately working with Tony Franklin. I just like wow. so honored. He's an amazing bass player. You all know he's so famous. And I've worked with Alvin Taylor and he's a phenomenal drummer. Uh, Alvin is uh, a dear friend I adore. And uh, Alvin's worked with all the greats, Fleetwood Mac and, and um, the Beatles and all. Um, yeah, so I've just been carrying on working with great artists. I, I, my goal in life is to bring whatever it is that I have bring for you. It's, it's for you, artists, for the people, and um, to do my best at it. I'm, I might, uh, I want to attain that excellence. So, uh, but yeah, I love to sing and write music and share it with with the world for as far as it, it will go yeah so, and thanks Eric for this moment oh absolutely you, you definitely a great person so tell me um what are your different titles I think you have owner I mean I, you have a lot of titles you know songwriter I th I can I kind of feel maybe a producer um you know artist development tell us the various roles that you play 
um, that can really inspire the young people and other people that are kind of scared. But, you know, if a musician and an artist, you have to just, you have to bear your soul to the public. So you have to be a special type of, it takes a special type of heart and person and personality. So tell us the different uh, titles that you hold. We, we, yeah. Yeah, well, I would say, uh, like, I've always written music. I've always written songs. They've always been in my head. And um, I picked up the guitar and just started, you know, learning. And, and uh, you know, if it's something that you're, you're gifted in and it's a passion that you just can't let it down, you can't put it down, um, then you just follow the journey that you're meant to follow. Um, it's not easy all the time. Being an artist, being a musician is not an easy road. So you got to really know it's, it's the road that you're to be on and you persevere, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, art, art is its own amazing mystery. And if, if you're young and starting out and it's in you and you, it's what you're meant to do, you just have to follow your journey and it doesn't matter, you know, an audience of one or an audience of a million, it really doesn't matter. You, you be true to your gifts and, and hone them in and, and, gain your skills and, and go forward and, and screw the rest. Like you just follow your journey and see where it leads, leads you because you know what, you're not wasting your life. And you, you don't want to sit around and waste your life. You know, I don't care what they say out there. You, you follow the journey you're made to follow because that's, that's a powerful thing when you follow what you're supposed to follow. Yeah. That sounds like a great title. I don't care what they say. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, you and me, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I, 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 I would love to see what you do with that. You said it, so you, you're the one. You, 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 the creative person that said it. So, but um, I just honed in on. But um, so I do. You also, you also produce music. Well, yeah. Um, so we have a studio, right? And um, uh, I have my own special engineer in the back there. So I'm really blessed by that. We've, we've acquired um just instruments and music as we've gone along like we i used to do for to help out i would do the um the lights at uh con concerts you know and being a musician you kind of know when when the music when the musician's going to change chords so I'd just change the lights and they're like yeah i like that you know like hey that person <laughs> following me or maybe it's mechanical i don't know but so i used to you know do all that and so at one of the uh um, one of the concerts, we got a, a beautiful Leslie, the, a speaker. So, the, you know, that so I think it was uh, any one of the top bands left that they are. We spotted off of them. They didn't want it. So, you know, we've accumulated some pretty cool sounding uh, equipment and we just keep experimenting and then keep it, making the music as we go. But it's been a huge investment. But uh, you know what? It's worth it in the end. I mean, music's a special uh, gift. So, yeah. I love the energy. I love the energy. Um, so tell us, um, and it's kind of do it with authors, but I, I consider songwriters authors. Songwriters are just as much authors as book authors are screen. They, you know, they, they're, they're creating content. So you're an author, yeah. a song author. Okay, so, yeah. so tell me, where were you born? This is kind of our normal thing with book authors, but I'm just, but plat and where did you grow up? Tell us uh, uh, that mm -hmm. a little bit because we're kind of intrigued and interested. Okay, so uh, my my mom and dad are actually from California in the Bay Area. I have all my wow. relatives are down there. Yeah, and I'm, I, as a kid, we'd go back and visit all my relatives. It was back when uh, we had amazing uh, Great America and, uh, you know, Disneyland, of course, and just all these wonderful things and California was an amazing place I just loved it there I loved the freedom I felt as, as an artist and you could be creative and you could tell and everyone was just so cool about it so but my dad is a linguist and my mom a teacher okay they came yeah they came up north uh to um put the um carrier Indian language into uh writing it's all oral it's always been oral through generations and he's actually done that and my mom created the uh, phonetic alphabet well, my dad created the phonetic alphabet and then my mom did put the teaching 
like a, like a French English, it's carrier English into the school system, which is now in the universities. So yeah, my parents have been pretty um, it's focused on uh, serving the um, uh, First Nations people up north here. And then uh, I grew up half on the reserve. I used to have, wear moccasins as a little girl and run down okay. the, the gravel roads and eat bannock and uh, dried salmon. So kind of grew up a little bit two cultures. That's why I've always been really co uh, comfortable with many different cultures because we're all people in the end and we're all the same in the end have the same needs so yeah I kind of grew up that way but we would go and visit uh, relatives in California and I'd go see all the my cool friends down in the states with their shorts and, and uh, t-shirts you know <laughs> so, yeah yeah now, now were you born you were born in California I was I was thank you I was born in Prince George um, British Columbia but I have okay to do a, yeah okay so, did, did you, did you, did, so you have some relatives that are in California? I, I do. I have all my relatives are in the Bay Area. Did, yeah. did you, did you go like, I know I had a cousin and stuff, but like some summers I was there, I'm in Georgia, but I would stay in South Carolina with them for like two months or whatever and then come back. Did you do that? Like, okay, I'm going to leave Canada and I'm going to go to the Bay Area for a month or two months and kind of see what's going on. Did you do that as a kid? So I, my parents, like the, the, the work that they did was very hard. It, they were the right. first ever to do. It was like groundbreaking. So I'm living on, on we lived in a I in an uninsulated one-room shack. Okay. That had a yeah. boat and no bathroom. Uh, we had an outhouse. We had to okay. haul our water up from the lake. So my mom was a California girl, remember? She wore a red nail polish and short <laughs> skirt. It was yeah. new for her. So, uh, you know, they got tired. Yeah, 10, 10 years in, 15, 10 years in, they got really, my mom kind of got a little burned out so that we'd, we'd go back to the States and 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 uh, it'd be like a furlough. We'd take a, my dad's a missionary. We'd take a break and and uh, and, and stay stay uh, in the States with, with relatives or, or a house we'd rent for uh, like a year just to, or two just to get uh, our bearings just to restore and then they would then we'd go back back to my mom, mom and dad's work in in, uh, in Fort St. James British Columbia Wow and I, I can just see now that they were dealing with um, words and stuff like that 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 really sparked appreciate uh, you know as a songwriter an appreciation for words and communication word you know what what, what, what we don't realize in, in this day and age is words are powerful and yes. words have deep meaning and and actually words are beautiful and full of depth and and truth right um, but but we but we, if you have to study the root of words um and find the, the the real meaning of words and then then you see how amazing they are and I think speaking like the spoken word, I know like poetry, but but just speaking words are powerful. And so you put those in songs, that's a double whammy because music itself is just, it cuts through everything. It's, it's the most amazing. Uh, I don't feel like it's just for us. You know, I feel like it's a really powerful force in it, in and of itself. It, it can just go through your, go to your heart, you know, when, when somebody, when words, maybe you would stop them in your mind, but but music will go through to your heart. But they're both powerful, a powerful form of uh, communication, you know, and connection with people. Absolutely. Um, I'm just thinking, like you said, the experience of kind of in, in the, I guess, say in nature, in a sense, living, that would I would think that that would really create a lot of creativity mentally. You have to be creative. Yeah. You probably have to build certain things that invent certain things to to kind of do certain things. I would think, and like I said, definitely that is going to give you enormous creativity compared to somebody that just, that only has one experience. I think so. I think you can. Uh, I think nature. Yeah, if you're saying about nature, nature. 
nature's so scientific and so full of truth. And I think that if you study nature and it's, it's, it's groups of three, it's Trinity, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's got truth. You can't deny the existence of God, the creator. If you look through nature, it's just like obvious. So yeah, nature has its own special stories. I mean, the helicopter is an invention from nature, right? Because it's just, what a great design. <laughs> so, yeah. Is, is there a certain philosophy, uh, a, a certain truth, a certain type of some, a theory or whatever? What, what would you say for being Canadian? Um, what I do notice is that you have Justin Bieber, which I really love. I love um, the, what's his name? The, uh, the uh, I can't think of the other guy. Oh. But uh, the the black guy that, that sings, uh, you know what I'm talking about, dude? That sings mm -hmm. pop so songs. The Weeknd, The Weeknd. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then you got Drake. And I think a lot of the artists... I saw and just watch coming out of Canada really have an appreciation for music that is and they're very creative. And I mean, I think about Drake, for example, um, kind of was rapping, but then it's kind of sing rap. And then he kind of gives uh, respect to reggae. So, I mean, just an embracing of different cultures. I noticed that in, in like a, a, a real unique appreciation of music that I may not, well, you may see it in America, but I de it definitely shines through with Canadian artists, and you guys have a tendency to get to the top of the charts as well. Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> well, it, maybe maybe Canadians are still more tuned into um, all the, their surroundings and, and the senses that they have. You know, maybe they're just not um, so um, industrialized yet, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I... I don't know. I think we maybe Canadians are also kind of a little behind the, the states. Like Canada's a little bit behind, and um, it's all still kind of all new. And 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 there's maybe there's a little bit of that wonder, a lot of mm -hmm. that wonder in life, you know. And you're still discovering, right? So, yeah. 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 Now tell me, between your parents and even grandparents on each side. Do you recall any, here we go, you know my question. Um, what Was there any great saying from your family that just stood with you throughout life? Like you know, you, the mother or father or relative said something and it's always been a part of you and stood with you and, and made a difference. A saying or, or a philosophy or a thought. I'll give you one for example. Um, mother would say that you don't need she's 7 8 I care take for her um it's, it's so she would say you don't need an army you just need a few people and you can accomplish a lot with a few people you don't need a whole military and I find out if you have a few good people you can really go far sometimes when you have such a big group some people are not focused and they kind of can be a problem so what she said really um, rings true for me and and, and I kind of you know observe that the, are there any things that you observe you recall from your from your from your family that kind of stood with you like what our philosophy is kind of uh, a, a saying or uh, philosophy or you know be you know be the best musician or, or anything that kind of was inspiring yeah, you know, my, uh, my dad, he, uh, he's, uh, he can play several instruments by ear. Um, okay. He just said, my mom can sing, she sings a beautiful kind of uh, operatic or choral sound. That they're both very music, but they never thought music was all that important as per se. They thought they just, you know, they were uh, trying to help people with language and, and um, they never really thought it was that that big of a deal just you know and like when we did go down to our family reunions the they'd all get together on the around the piano and everybody would sing till late in the night just harmonizing a lot of these guys were just talented they could sing and i just loved that you know that that feeling of being in music and, and everybody just being together like that and all in one voice you know but um so kind of in a way 
me wanting to do music or having this passion for music wasn't really, it was, uh, wasn't really a big deal in my family. It was just like, you know, everybody sings. It's not that big of a deal, but I, and, and I, I always thought my brother was going to be the big, you know, singer. Right. He's really talented. But, um, you know, I'm the only one that just had to pursue it. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just couldn't let that go, the passion of it. So, I guess my, but my family never, um, they never pressured us as kids. I, we had, we were pretty free um, to develop as we wanted, and and they, they never really expect, had a high expectation uh, for us to do things. They always gave us freedom um, to to be ourselves, and and they never were really, uh, never put that anything as a high priority or had one one certain statement for the home except that they they love god you know my parents love god and i just felt that we had freedom to be the person that that he would make us to be i would say if anything that would be you know what the, their most dominant um thing they've left me is a true love for god and 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 just serving people you know loving wow. people that's amazing yeah. So, and so what what do you think that made you be the exception and say, well, I love music. I'm going to do it. This is this is my personal passion. And what yeah. what 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 think what what do you think? What caused that you think for you? Yeah, that's a good question, because it hasn't been easy. Um, right. And. It's not like it was, uh, I had a lot of people behind me for promoting me, but right. I just, you know, just like, they're just like some about it. I couldn't let it go. And, and they kept me through so many things. And I'd get up, I mean, I had songs kept coming. I'd get up in the night and write these songs. Would come. It was, it was, it was like, I couldn't leave it, but music couldn't leave me. Like I couldn't, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't a choice. It was just something I, I had in me and I just had to keep doing it <laughs> so wow. yeah I it, it wasn't based on being anything I mean I used to be a really into sports that was what right. I was really into as a teenager and basketball I was crazy about basketball and volleyball and everything but music just you know it, it's the music is the thing that'll keep you through the hard times and it'll keep you going through everything and you, you know you talk about people you know, losing hope or breaking down, music will keep you through all of that. And that there's something really powerful, really mysteriously beautiful about music. And I, I think it, it just wouldn't leave me. I, I know, I just, I still, I don't have a complete answer for that. It's still a mystery. <laughs> wow, wow. And who, who are some of the, your favorites, uh, your inspirations as that are artists from the past and present? Who, who did you say, well, I really like that artist. There's something great about that artist and this inspires me. Let's start with the past. Who who in the past was um, uh, one or two, you know, that, that you were like, I really admire that artist, our group. Yeah. Well, I really like classic rock. I really, okay. I mean, growing yeah. up small town, it was just right. the radio and it was classic rock. And of course, it, you know, those songs are well written. And then right. uh, yeah, Carol King. Um, okay. Like Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder is probably one of my favorites. Okay. Uh, I like I like um, Fleetwood Mac. My friend. Okay. I like there. I have a lot of just um, probably classic rock songs for the most part. Um, now I like Blue Plumas or our Black Plumas. They're really good. They're really good. Just a lot of uh, oh, I love Chicago. You know, anything that's well, well made. Right. I like right. all music is well made. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. So, go, go, yeah, go ahead. No, that was it. Okay. Um. So, what what are the what are the different genres of music that you I uh, tend, tend to make. What, what, what are your favorites of making? I'm tight. I think I write, yeah, I think I, I kind of think I'm like folk with rock and maybe a little jazz. Um, 
but some of my music uh, lately has been a little bit more maybe uh, a little more psychedelic but not necessarily i don't i i would say probably you know if it were to say your roots probably just folk rock okay kind of root. yeah a little okay. classical classical yeah yeah With, uh, bob dylan yeah I like Bob Dylan. At least he's saying something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, the Beatles, of course. I mean, the, one of the greatest rock groups. Did you? I have a friend that's a um, social mind that is uh, the nephew of the Beach Boys. What did you think about the Beach Boys? Yeah, I like the Beach Boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like all the harmonies. Yeah. I, like, oh. I, love, I love harmonies. That's real nice. That's what made like I love. Like uh, Neil Young, like I like, the, I like, I think he's a good songwriter. Okay, okay. And so you, now do, do you make music for um, TV and film sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we, uh, we're working on it. I mean, I haven't, I don't think anything's ever been submitted for that, but we'd like that, sure. Yeah. Right. I'm working with some people right now that that could be a possibility but uh yeah yeah do, do, do. Go, go ahead go ahead there's always another song in you right there's a lot of songs yeah do, do you enjoy performing uh yeah i was always kind of well i was uh pretty natural at it and i went through some things i got really shy and, okay um, but I, but yeah, I don't mind performing. It's kind of a part of who you are. So yeah, I, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I like it. What's your, what's your favorite? Do you okay? Do you uh, do you feel most comfortable in this pre-production, coming up with the ideas of the song, or do you like the production uh, category going in and creating the song and editing and stuff like that, or Again, do you like? Okay, the song is done. Let's go on. Let's go to a few locations. Let's perform our new material, and you get, you know, a res a, a response from fans. Which which areas do you um? I guess the lineup. Okay, well, I like recording better than, you know, what what what? How does everything rank for you? Okay, that's that's a good question. So. I love to deliver the song. I love to sing the song. I love to feel that song. Um, I, I, I think I do love to perform. I'm just shy. Right. But the more I perform, I think that um, the more like I, like I love the art of performing. I mm -hmm. like to write the music. Not as much um, do I like the product pro to be a producer. No, not, not as much. I mean, I can hear like my ear, I can hear things. So if, if, uh, if, um, if a sound isn't quite right, I can catch that, you know, but, but I don't love that's more of the work getting right. the music formed like that. I, I love, I love to, um, I think I do. I think I do love to perform the music and, 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 and let that be expressed. So, yeah. Yeah. Just a so, little shy. That, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. No, go ahead. Say, say it again. Oh no, I just I've I've had to overcome shyness for okay a while. <laughs> does does it help? I guess if you perform and you have a fan, even a young fan, come up and say, I "Boy, I really like that song. I connect with that song." Does that make it easier for you? Oh yeah, like I I. Uh, the people, the people that, the people, the things that people say, it right. just, it just soothes you because it, you feel like, you know, you know, you're, you are connecting and you are giving them something and, and, and you've got, it's, a, it's got value, you know, and, and it, it means, a, it means a lot, you know, to, to know that you're, you're, you're do you're on your journey and it's making a difference and it, it, it's really important. Definitely. Do 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 you ever make Christmas music? <clears throat> um, yeah, like I like I um I sung Christmas music. I put it up at Christmas on my website. Mm -hmm. I uh, but I I I've thought of that. I should write some Christmas music. Yeah, 
we could use some new Christmas music. Yeah. I think about who I think about is I'm a fan of Mariah Carey, you know, and she has that Christmas album in every year, they say, that it goes top 10. Um, yeah. Because she, you know, she took the time to create some new kind of hip modern Christmas music. And it's just for the, ever since it has come out, it, has, it always goes to the top of the charts charts of doing Christmas. And what I like about Christmas music too, is I think that it it may allow you to be your creative because you have to, you, you want to put little elements in that signifies Christmas. And I think you can really, uh, I'm not saying that it's easy, easy, but I think it'll really um, uh, wide open in terms of creativity that can happen and there's no almost no limits to what you could do for creating a Christmas song. Yeah, you could you know it's the way it is with, with all songs, really you just take a song and you make it your own, right? And that's what that's right. half the fun of it. You, know, you, you you create you make it you make this song you turn this song into your song by by taking it over and, and, and performing it from your own um, intellect, right? So yeah, no, I, I, I think that's that's wonderful when people can do that make make a song her own that's it that that's what an artist does yeah that's true um what 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 was your favorite period in music i mean for me i'm trying to think um i don't know i kind of like the the 60s I, I like the 70s and 80s and this period i think that eventually they'll get it together, but I like some of the other, like you said, classic rock. There's certain eras in music that I felt like, the, especially when they created, and MTV was big, so I'm 52. So when they created MTV, that was an explosion of um, great music from disco type pop to to great rock and roll. Um, Be like, waiting for a white wedding. I mean, just so many different to rap was introduced, um, you know, Michael Jackson, I think, uh, uh, Mellencamp, I like him, Mellencamp, you had so many, um, Bon Jovi, you had so yeah. many great Guns and Roses, so many, so, so, and everybody had their own sound, and it was, it was a, it was a great moment, I think, and everybody was happy during that time. You know what? 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 What was your? What do you feel like was the great era and period of music that you really connect with? I think you're right. I think there was a time when music was what it came. It came easy for artists to be musicians. You know, they could. They they didn't have to work so hard to survive and 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 get their music out there. There wasn't. You know, it wasn't such a a lot of music as well, but. Um, you know, Pink Floyd, like, like that's timeless music, and and uh, you know, like Jimi Hendrix guitar, like what a what a what an original, and um, so like that. I think that music kind of bloomed at at that point, and everybody was, you know, it was fashion, and it was easy to be a musician then, more e easier than now, you know, and 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 so yeah, that wasn't time when music really bloomed and um and i think that that, that was a great time to be a musician because you could actually make a big income i mean you can't very few now can but it's it's um you know it's it's a specified kind of uh, music but but i but i don't you know i think that was an amazing time for music and i agree that the the 60s 70s 80s there there were you know some great great music that we still like what do we play what do we want to hear we get tired of other stuff but we go back to the classics a lot of times but um that said i just still think that uh you know music's a valuable thing for every generation and every generation needs their musicians to um to be there for them right so i think that maybe it's even more important nowadays to be a musician even though it's harder in a lot of ways I think it's really important that you, if, if it's your gift, you should 
you should do it. And I think nowadays you sing, man, just sing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sing. It's yeah. important because you're doing something, you know, like just sing, <laughs> let it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, do you like Janet, <laughs> Janet Jacqueline? Yeah, she's all, she's just pretty good. You, yep, yep, sure. I, re I really I, I liked like her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sing me one of one of one of her songs that you like. Tell me which one you like. I don't know the names, but then then get a little piece of my heart now, baby. You remember that something? Dun 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. she was <laughs> like, like Carol Carol King, like you said. Um, uh, Joni Joni Mitchell. Some song I heard yeah. about her talking about beer. I just looked, and she was like, like you're like a twelve pack of beer. Some it was it was really creative. She's an artist. She can. She's like a. She's a good. Yeah. She can. He, she can use her words and and uh, she she can paint. Like she's an artist. All around artist. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You have some so much great talent. Um, I think that. What What do you What do you want for the for the um? You're now here. You're a young person. I can tell. So what 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 do you want? For music now, it's so important to you. It's important to me as well. What what needs to happen? What needs to take place to really bring the magic back? Well, uh, you got to be real with your music, and you got to be, you know, what what you're meant to be. You be it, you know. Like I I, I would I do I do my music because that's what I come up with and. I got to express it and, and I'm happy to work with other music and other sounds and to broaden my horizons, you know, but you gotta be, you gotta be the style you are. You gotta be who you are. Um, you know, like there's no two snowflakes are alike and not like I want to be called a snowflake, but um, everybody's mm -hmm. got a way of expressing. Right. And, right. and I just, just don't, lose your originality you're you're not a clone and and you have something to say it, it, it's in you um and i think more than ever nowadays we need to sing we need to sing and we need to sing from our soul and because i think that just changes everything you know you sing and something happens you know and and don't lose your song you know don't let don't let them make you lose your song you know it's it's in you just let it out and sing man dance and be <laughs> joyful no like just be joyful don't let them stop that <laughs> <laughs> i think you might already answer the question i was gonna ask but what do you have to say for young people that that want to follow follow your path and want to follow their passion for music what do you have to say to young people or even let's say a 50 something oh he was a bank he was a bank manager but you know he's he, he can't stand it anymore and he just and he might have money saved up you know what I mean but now he wants yeah. to change over to who he really is what, what do you have to say to these people that have a passion for music in the in the Canada the UK in America, what do you have to say to the world? <laughs> well, I just, I just say that music is is never going to die, and it's written in the heavens, and you can't stomp it out. And I just say, if it's in you, you let it out. It doesn't matter if you're in your kitchen and you're dancing with your spouse, or or you're you're young and you really want to be a musician. Um, I would hope that maybe the music world would be more supportive to, to people that are trying to make music and not be greedy because you know what, like every, it's not right to be greedy and everybody needs to make a living somehow and um, just support one another and, and because you know what, it's a journey and it's a short journey so why not enjoy it, like why rob everyone of, of, of something wonderful like music, just if it's in you, you know, just sing, let it out. Like, really, honestly, let the joy happen, and don't let don't let them take it away from you. It's 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 never gonna it's never gonna be something you could totally stomp out anyway. So, just sing, just be happy to be singing. And if you make it big, it's great. And if you don't, it's still good. Like if it's in you, and you're fifty and fifty, sixty, and you wanna 
get your instruments out, go for it. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to ask permission. You can do that in your house if you really want it, right? That's true. Yeah. That's true. Hey, like that, they said that song of sing, sing the song. <laughs> so, <laughs> just... <laughs> that is great. Now, what, what about, have you, okay, and Kenda, you guys may be ahead of us. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're getting, the, do you have the, the, the block? currency, this cryptocurrency, but I want to focus in on the NFTs, these special, like I'm hearing the stories that people are putting their music on the blockchain and that people are buying their music. What do you think about that? That's great. I think that they need to come up with something that that everybody gets supported, you know, and, and, and uh, not just a few people, like, you know, like spread the wealth, spread the joy and the love and Everybody, everybody's better off in the end if, if you can spread it around. Um, so yeah, I think that that's a new thing that's happening where they can trace the music easier and, and people can get uh, get get make an earning. That'd be amazing, you know. Like sure, like you know, we're not slaves. Like we're not. Like we're we're human beings. We all need to be treated equal. So yeah. True. True. Um. Where can they, they if they wanted to see you? Because I, I just have a sense that you're a great artist. Where, where could they find find you? Like on YouTube to kind of just ex, get yeah, the so racial experience. Remember, didn't <laughs> they call? Then they, then they say that for I forgot the the guy we were talking about before. But the racial experience. How, how do we get the racial experience? <laughs> well, thank you for that. Um, well, right now I have a website, uh, RachelWalkerTree.com. You can check out what we've done so far. We do have a whole bunch of uh, great ideas coming up where we are going to start, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start doing, like you said, performing live and maybe putting it out there so you can, can see more of that. Some of the songs I've had people say, yeah, Rachel, like I love this, the music, but I really wanna see you perform. So so I'm hearing you and, and we're, we're working on that. We've got lots of great ideas. Um, we're not, lots of wonderful ideas coming up. So um, stay tuned. I mean, I'll stay tuned, <laughs> but mm -hmm. you stay tuned because we're, we're, we've got lots of wonderful things ahead for that, the performing and, and shows and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do, now, do, do, you, do, you, do you dance any? Uh, are there any tricks? Uh, what, what, what can we expect? Well, I, I love to da I love dancing, Eric. I I love it. As a kid, we loved dancing. I probably don't won't I don't know if I'll be dancing. Maybe if my own music gets to me, I start dancing when I'm singing. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just most I don't know. Like it's all a mystery. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I love, I love to see people dance. I mean, that's that's great. Yeah. No, what genre? <laughs> Say that one more time. The last thing. You've got the rhythm. You've got the rhythm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What? 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 Now, what? Is there any type of music that you normally don't visit that twenty twenty two in the future that you you say, well, I'm going to venture out into blues, or I'm going to venture out and kind of incorporate a pop type of rap within you know, my regular singing song, or I'm just going to do a, a, a classic piece that has a little pop, pop feel, the mixture, what, 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 what are you willing to experiment with? And what, 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 what where, where would you go music wise? Well, sure. I, like, like, like I said, like, I like all music if it's good. <laughs> right, so, right, you know, right. Like, you know, I I I, uh, I have worked on a rap song with another person. I got I got did all the like the little you know the little vocals in the back that softened the the sound and it was really nice. Uh, um, I love blues. You know, I could uh, I could get into singing some blues. I'd be real pretty. It, it just the way the voice can can just flow and and hit that pocket is nice. It's you know goes with the groove. So I mean I'm I'm open to experimenting. I I don't think like I've really found my music genre yet. I just keep exploring and and, and I like when I write music, uh, if I write it on the piano, it has a certain sound. Guitar has a different sound. So um 
I, I'm still in lots of wonder about style and music in general. I think music's just vast, you know, I just think there's so much, so much creativity you can still, you can, you can venture into. So I, I don't have an answer for that, actually. I'm still, I'm still in, in wonder about it all. Okay. Who, who would be some of your favorites as songwriters that inspire you? Not just artists, or maybe artist songwriters, but songwriters, even even there's regular songwriters or artist songwriters. Who who is who inspires you? Who do you really I really enjoy their lyrics? I really enjoy what they're trying to convey. Yeah, uh, there was uh, there were uh, yeah, I, I like I like it when they have some good lyrics. Um, there was a a a, no, a poet Mark Hurd, real really good lyrics um, uh, but you know like I think when I think of songs like if uh, for traveling and, and got the radio on and it's it's some um, classic rock and then they're just hitting those, those uh, old song those songs I just love to hit the harmonies and just sing them you know <laughs> just <laughs> hit that and, and uh, but I, I don't know like I've never really like I said, I love Stevie Wonder. I love Stevie Wonder's lyrics. I think he's just a great musician. I love the way he's got his own feel and groove. Like he kind of invented his own his own uh, beat in a way, like his own rhythm. Um, I think he's great. Um, Paul McCartney is a great songwriter. I really mm -hmm. admire his songwriting. Uh, 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 George Harrison, I think yeah. he's a great songwriter. Um, yeah, but you know, I just uh, I never really like settled on one that that I just I never really I was always kind of just exploring. I, I, honestly, when I was a teenager, I was really into sports. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, I really never really settled on on that. I'm sorry, I don't have an answer. I've been asked that before, and I never really can hmm. like, point an answer hmm. for them, but. Uh, like we like Pink Floyd has amazing music and and um you know like uh, there's just lots of great music out there that that, that you hear so I don't know I'm sorry I don't have an answer for that one. Okay. <laughs> now what what about like, do you what how do you about think you, Eric? Uh, how about you? What's, about what, what's what? the question? Um, how about you? You tell me what your your favorites are. Um, well, I I love Sam Cooke. I love um. Bob Dylan, the person that taught me passed away, wrote for Twisted Sister. He taught me songwriting. Um, uh, name is Mark Carter, very, very talented person, wrote for Twisted Sister. So he exposed me to Bob Dylan, um, the Beatles, uh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, yeah, I like, yeah. Um, but let me see, uh, I, uh, Joni Mitchell, come on. I mean, you know, and the other person I was talking about before, the, the, that I sung the song. What's her, what's her name? That I just uh, I had talked yeah. talked to, uh, about early. A little piece of my heart. Da, da, da. Mariah? Da, da, da. Huh? Jackson? Yeah, oh. Janet Jock Janet Jock Her, Michael Jackson had to be a uh, Prince. Um, they're just the 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 list is endless. Yeah, oh. that's why it's hard to pin it down. Right, Carol 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 King. Yeah. 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 So, so tell me about 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 as an artist, because I'm more of a songwriter than an artist. Maybe I might be an artist one day, but I, I maybe but I'm more of a songwriter. Do you take into account uh it's probably maybe a kind of crazy not a crazy, but you probably have never heard this question. I don't know, maybe you have. The what goes into like, okay, well, I'm gonna perform these four songs today at a venue, small venue. What do you how do you figure in what type of outfit that you would wear? Did, did that, I'm, you know, I'm just curious. What, I'm trying to see, pick, the, and find the mind of an artist. What goes even into their fashion and trying to yeah. present themselves in their music? Yeah, I think it depends on the venue and the mood you're in, kind of. And uh, again, like fashion is a great thing, and it, for an artist, fashion's a big thing too. I love fashion. Uh, 
I think that, uh, you know, like, um, you kind of go with, with, uh, with, with what mood you're in, I think, and you know, how to express that. Like, yeah, there's things I, you know, yeah, it just, you're trying to convey, you're not trying to convey so much yourself, but you're trying to convey, you know, the art, the art in, in a whole, right? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. That's, that's good. So, so um, let me see. If you did, for example, if you did a folk C song, what would be what would be the dress that would inspire right. the, the fashion that would inspire you with that? Just, just as a yeah. Then you're, then you're more, uh, you know. Then it's more, uh, you know, uh, jeans or whatever. But you know, like it just depends on the venue you're at and. And uh, I think, like I, I think um, that's part of the like, like the old days. They had so much glamour, you know. And and I, I think we miss that today. Like, I mean, I don't mind that everyone. Like, it's sure, you know, it's great. Like, it's great to be up there in your t-shirt. But sometimes it's nice to see the see uh, see the entertainment side of it too. Like. Like look at Elton John, like that guy wore a duck on his head, you know. Like, <laughs> like these 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 artists were fascinating in in their own right with their style, and I, I like that. Like I, I like that we don't lose all of that. Like I think to, today, you know, because people are are are, are maybe more down about society, is that we don't get to see a lot of fashion anymore and, and the glamour in the world, and and it's kind of fun, like to keep that going as well, you know, with, with art, the whole, the whole, the whole thing of it, the fashion and everything that goes on that. Is the, have you ever thought about in the future, like, or maybe you have already for songs, um, film treatment to do a video? Have you, have you ever thought about doing, you know, like co-producing a music video of your song with, with a, a, a person that deals with film? Yeah, yeah, we're just moving into that now. We're gonna do some, some of that to get get more visual, get more uh, like what's her uh, what's her name, uh, Kate Bush. You know, she's really visual um, a time, and people of yeah, like you know that that beauty beauty of the whole picture and in, in the in the like the music and the, then the artist's visual um, performance. So. That's actually the next step. I mean, I'm trying to get, I'm getting past the shy, so being so shy and and breaking into this form. So that's one of the things we're looking for in the future is to, to, to perform more and to put some music out there and, and uh, yeah, do it that way. Do the more, the, the visual side of things a bit more. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, no, no. The question. The, this would be the question. Well, two. Well, maybe I should. No. Well, let me go right here. Are you? Are you? If I do a film or something like that in the future, I would be. I would be kind of curious to see what you would come up with, like a song for the film. Like I give you a certain section and just see what you would make for. I may be doing some documentaries in the future, so I'm kind of curious. What would you? You know, it would be. It would be interesting. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I love writing, so yeah. You, so what what I would do is to get your feel, Eric. Is I would right. ask you kind of what mood are you looking for, and what what style kind of you know, and then I could have the what what you're trying to express in my head before I start writing something, right? And work with that. Yeah. Here sure. We go I got lots, 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 lots of instruments, lots of sound things for for that very kind of a thing so yeah that would be kind of fun actually is are, are you open to playing just a touch of something uh, for the public just to yeah so let me think. whatever uh, whatever whatever hits you right at this moment can you hear this yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it a little bit. Can you, can you hear it? Good I enough? can hear it. I can hear it enough, I think. 
this is for, I mean, this is for just maybe today. I wrote this a bit ago, but you know what? We need to keep believing because you can. And, and there's a lot of lies going on, but keep believing because believing is a very powerful thing. What will you eat? I can say. What will you wear? What will you do? How do you feel? Are you ready? Are you so ready? That that was amazing. That was amazing. That was that was awesome. Yeah, that was magical. Really was. Oh, thank you very I, much. Yeah, I think a song like that, I would love that in a film. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. Yes, thank yeah. you very much. Have, have you, you have you heard the, the movie The Graduate? Yeah, and you you know the who I forgot is um who who was um Garfinkel Fingal? I can't remember the, the groups that were playing the different songs in there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that gave me kind of that feel, and I could just see that in a part of a film. So Thank I'm you, gonna Sarah. urge, huh? Thank you. I urge I urge you to to definitely. And I think it would bring you some, you know, extra uh, income stream. Two things, to 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 really go out and and do some film and TV music. You know, you can probably go to the internet and find different um, websites, whatever is right to help get it to the TV and film. Um, 
And um, definitely, I might be interested in that. I mean, you know, on the song, because that is such, that was, that was, that was awesome. And I'm trying to think, yeah, I think that you, with your, 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 your perspective, you know, both being kind of more Canadian, but also American is Canada. You know what I mean? Um, yes. Would you, would you ever write a book? Well, <laughs> Well, that you, I know you do that. I know that this is what you do, right? You talk about books. Could you tell tell me about that? I, I haven't thought of it. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I have an associate. I interviewed him earlier, uh, and he's going to help a lot of people. Um. I just kind of think it would be, you know, to hear what musicians have to say. You know, a good and a book that would inspire. Uh, newcomers and and kids to music and um I don't know. and I also recommend maybe you start a show yourself in Canada and <laughs> you know and what I found fascinating uh, is that I, I'm really interested in watching the Femi like somebody's in a recording studio and yeah. the the interaction the between the music huh the process the, the process of it like the process yeah the it, making the making of that song in the recording yeah. and you're you're drinking a coffee or whatever and you're talking to the engineer and you're talking to your friends and your mother calls at four o'clock mama I, i'll see you tomorrow you know i mean are your husband <laughs> i'll see i'll see i'll see you tomorrow uh when I, i'm almost i'm almost done you know what i mean yeah i hear you yeah 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 the real deal a I life in the would... day of a musician. Huh? A life in the day of a musician. Yeah, there you go. You you're great. You you obviously great with words. So that that would be great. And um, who knows? Some you may sell some of the stuff on the, as an NF, you know, in NFT. I mean, there's we and and I like your spirit of you know, be yourself. Um, if you have a passion, follow your passion. Don't go, don't over consider money eventually money will come you know you know and you may have to do another job yeah. to kind of hold you a little bit but don't give up yeah. the passion of music i like that you gotta be you gotta be what you were made to be you have to be yourself and you know what the chips will fall where they're supposed to fall and whether it's an audience or one you know what there's there's these flowers and they grow and they're beautiful tiny little flowers they grow under a waterfall and right. nobody sees the flowers but they're blooming you know they're doing their job they're blooming under that waterfall and and they're where god wants them to be you know and you never know where you're supposed to be you might be out there in the big stage but you gotta you gotta be what you're meant to be you, you can't just let it go you can't bury your 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 reasons you know don't bury the reasons just be what you're meant to be and, and let it fall where it meant, it's meant to fall, you know? Wow. How long did it take you to, to I hear stories of people, oh, in two minutes, you know, this song, our oh, people, I dreamed of this song and I had to put it down. You know, I got, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I had this dream about this song and I put it, how, what was the process for that song? That's a very pretty song. That song took me like 10 minutes, like, like I, so that's the thing about me with songs, and that's what I mean. Like they won't leave me. Like uh, sometimes I'll get up in the night and I know I have a song. I gotta write it down. So I get my little recorder and yeah. I sit there and I'm half asleep and I write the song down and then I go to bed. And sometimes the whole song comes like that. Sometimes I'm just playing the piano, you know, um, you know, certain mood or whatever, and I just have to write a song then. So. For me, the songs really come really easy. Like uh, I haven't really had to work on on songs too much. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so, I'm not gonna hold you too much longer. I know you're busy and stuff like that. Really appreciate your time, but I, I'm definitely gonna urge you to, you know, film some of your processes. Um, okay. And and um you know, start a YouTube channel uh, about your music that people can, that's what started me with the the YouTube channels. They they saw the book and some people like that book and don't like the book, but I have other books they may like or whatever, but I wanted to put a face with the artist. 
You know what I mean? That's yeah. what the YouTube. So I mean, you seem to have a great personality. Uh, and by the way, people, I want them to know that I had told you about um, what's the, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but run the jazz, the saxophone player. You remember they had the book? Yeah. Yeah. And I told him about that you that you bought the book. So run, she bought your books. I mean, that was such a sweet thing. And I and I, I know he he appreciates that. So um yeah, I, I think you should film. I think you should film. Um, I'm just kind of closing there, but I think that you should film some of your 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 perform, you know, some of your performances, film some of the behind the scenes, continue the great music that you're doing. I'm gonna have to get you on. I'm gonna have to get you in the in film. There, there's no question about it. And I do recommend uh, last two last things. That well, three things. Well, maybe some on the N NFTs. Um, I think that yeah, I think that you you're natural for um, TV and film music. I think you're perfect match. There's no. I mean, that was so. It sounded like a record. Thank it sounded like it, sound, it sounds. I was so relaxed. It was. It sounded like a record. It was so thank good. Oh, thanks, Eric. Yeah. I didn't even and, have a microphone. <laughs> yeah. Microphone. Really yeah, into and, it. <laughs> and I think in down the road, if you need help or whatever, I have somebody can help you. But but consider down the road when you're ready to to when you're ready to to write a book about whatever i don't know you may write a children's book i don't know what think of think about that as another income stream or talking about your music i think that that would be great too thank you eric and you don't forget to send me the link to your song oh yeah i'm going to send that to you no question about it i really enjoyed and just tell them in closing um again just tell them again um where they can find you um on youtube and your 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 channel and just how they can follow you and become a fan i'm thank a fan now much. i'm a fan oh thank you Mary. That's yeah, go ahead. thank you very much so you can go to my website rachelwalkertrio.com www.rachelwalkertrio.com um and also we are getting um prepared to start doing some um live shows um that we can put up so that you can see uh, the songs being performed. I've had that asked of me and I'm breaking past my shyness. So I'm, I'm moving into a new stage. Thank you, Eric. And so, yeah, we got lots of great ideas coming up ahead. Uh, it's really excited about that. Uh, I can't wait to share with you. I mean, I wrote some puppet shows with music. So we've got lots of ideas coming up that, that so stay tuned and I'll stay tuned too. <laughs> I think 2022 is going to be be a great year for you, and you definitely are extremely talented. That I knew I had a feeling, you know, artists. We kind of I had a I know it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be like electrifying, magical, and amazing, all wrapped up in one. Oh my God, what a talent! <laughs> so in in the way you, yeah, but you know that you're just very humble. That's all. But you, I mean, you know, you know. Yeah, but you you know that you got that they, they, they would say you had you got the juice. <laughs> <Thank> you, <that laughs> you can use you can That's use me. that. You can use that, you know, some friends. I got the juice. <laughs> Eric says, hey guys, Eric says, I got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a wonderful be in contact and um do, do, hold, hold on, we got well, I gotta tell them I'm but just wait a minute afterwards. I just want to tell everybody we really enjoyed you watching uh, this program. I know that you were blown away by the amazing performance. And we really, she's a true artist, really pro artist and really saying positive things and really bringing you guys that have kind of walked away from it to come back and know that it's special. And it, and it all, was all worth it because her music was just phenomenal. Okay. But I'll stop here. It's kind of hard. She's a, she's, she's a fun guest. But I'll stop here, and um, we'll see you next time on American Authors and Others, and we'll wave. You can wave back to them and stuff like that, too. Okay, okay. And um, you just hold for a second, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe, like, comment, and I know that you love the song. We'll talk to you another, another time. LinkedIn and others. So long. <laughs>